Hey everyone, uh, this is Tier 1 with the Vantage Point. Today I'm going to be doing something a little different from what we normally do on the channel. Um, I'm, I'm going to be giving a little tutorial on how to properly record in-game videos with uh, a Fraps. Fraps, if you haven't, if it isn't that obvious, is a piece of software that you can use to record videos in-game. Uh, you can, I think you can even run some benchmarks on certain games. You can pull screenshots. Uh, it's really a, a nice piece of software, probably one of the best screen recorders I've ever used. Um, anyway, I'm with this tutorial, I'm going to assume that you're a complete beginner, have never used Fraps before, and you just need some help with it. So, why don't we just get started here. Right at this intro screen here, when this, is, this comes up right after you launch Fraps, um, you will get, obviously, registration details version all that stuff and then you'll get some options for basically your, your general uh, program options like starting fraps minimize fraps window on top run it when windows starts yada yada that stuff it's pretty pretty common to every program anyway um let's move on to the first thing i really want to get get going on here is the FPS counter. The FPS counter is an overlay that is displayed in game. It counts your FPS if it's not that obvious. Um, base, it's right here. There's also a benchmarking part to this window, but I'm not going to touch that right now. Um, the overlay, you have an overlay hotkey here. It will uh, turn on, turn off, or make the overlay appear or disappear and you can also choose the overlay corner. There's also an option to always hide the overlay. I do generally don't turn this on just because the overlay serves as differentiation between when you're recording a video and when you're not. And that helps a lot and it's just good for other purposes, just for uh, FPS testing and whatnot. Anyway, um, let's move on to where you will be spending a lot of the time uh, changing settings to, to get your optimum optimum video. Um, this is the movies tab here. Uh, before I go on, actually, I just wanted to say I'm not going to go into the screenshots here. I'm just going to talk about movies. So if you're looking for screenshots, sorry, this is not the tutorial for you. Um, I know I say that about two or three minutes, and I waste your time. I know I'm sorry. That's just what I do. Um, Anyway, back to the point. Uh, the Movies tab. The first thing you'll see here is a f the folder to save your movies in. By default, I'm not sure. You'll have to check up on it, but it may save to m a My Documents type Fraps folder. Um, you'd have to check into that, though, because I'm not entirely sure. I changed pretty much when I got it. You can also, I'd suggest changing it to a folder that's convenient for you. That's just what I did. I find it a lot more convenient than digging through like 15 different subfolders to find my video. But anyway, that's your choice. Um, again, like the overlay hotkey, you have a video capture hotkey. This will start a recording and then stop it when you, whenever you hit the key here. You can change it to whatever you want. Um, the real meat of this tab is right here, the video capture settings. Um, to start off, you should always, always, and there are a few exceptions that I'll explain in a second, but you should always lock the frame rate. That means checking this box off right here, and the frame rate that you should always lock it to is right here, 29.97 FPS. That will give you a very good quality, very good quality uh, recording. The only times I would suggest changing changing this and turning up the frame rate lock is, say, if you're playing an online shooter or an online game, and a slight FPS drop will throw off your performance. I know that I know a few people that that would happen to, and that's perfectly fine. Um, also, if you have a computer that is not, say, so great and you're trying to record something, 
and it's causing you like graphical slowdowns as to a point where it slows to crawl and it's barely even recognizable then you should probably turn it up but by nature fraps will will drag down your system performance so you should have a good computer anyway that's it, it's a, it's very advisable very very recommended anyway um let's move on here you if you haven't seen it yet uh there's a full size and a half size option the difference between them is the full size option will take the resolution uh, setting of the game you're playing the resolution setting in game and it will record and render that uh video file at that resolution setting the half size will cut that resolution in half making for a smaller recording um I generally always use full size just because it's better quality. Um, if you have a problem with the space on your hard drive, you might want to use half size just because it will uh, it, it reduces the size of the the video files. Full size video files can run up to like a few gigs for a few minutes worth of video. Half size, uh, I don't know exactly because I don't use it that much. But uh, I've heard it will run it down a significant amount, probably, I'd say, one and a half gigs or under. Um, anyway, uh, I'll quickly go over the sound capture settings. This is, they're pretty self-explanatory anyway. Uh, record Vista Sound will record any uh, operating system sounds or program sound or sounds that other programs make, sorry. Uh, if you don't want to record sound, turn it off. That's pretty much <laughs> the, the, the be all and end all to it. Um, the record exter external input option is for if you have a microphone or something and you want to record a commentary for a gameplay video or whatever other use you may have for uh, overlaying something or laying something over a, a, an audio, an audio clip over a video clip. Uh, simultaneously um, you can turn that on or off pretty self-explanatory as well these th these three settings down here I don't generally mess around with um, the don't sync audio and video and hide mouse cursor and video that is self-explanatory uh, force lossless RPG capture I just don't touch it I have no need to um, yeah that's I think that's pretty much what I wanted to go through here. Um, I will, if you just give me a second, I will pull up a game and show you a quick example of how to record, or what it looks like rather, and how to f uh, get the file that you recorded. Hey again guys, um, so here I have Blur pulled up. Um, if you can see in the top right corner, I gotta do this really quickly because I don't have much time. Um, in the top right corner is the overlay, it gives you the FPS counter, and of course it just goes to the, uh, video thing. Anyway, um, in the top right corner there's the overlay. I'll give you a quick demonstration of what it looks to, or what it looks like to hit the hotkey and see it recording. So, here we go. And there you go. Uh, give me one more sec, and I will pull up a explorer to find the file and show you what it looks like. See in a second. All right, so right here we have the video file we just created. I'll open it up and give you just what it looks like. Yeah, it was pretty short, but I think you get the gist of it anyway. Um, yeah, that's basically everything I wanted to cover in this uh, in this tutorial here. Um, so if you enjoyed it please rate, comment, and subscribe. I would appreciate it a lot. Uh, and also look for a new tutorial video that we'll have coming up soon about rendering, proper rendering techniques for uh, Sony Vegas for rendering uh, into YouTube HD, and especially for gameplay videos. And anyway, uh, this is Tier 1 with the Vantage Point. Thanks a lot for watching. <laughs>